Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com. Matthew here with another daily crypto update. Today we can see that the market is uh, mostly mixed across the board here. So some cryptos doing a bit better, some, uh, some still in the red. And what I wanted to mention is overall cryptos are looking to set up for more consolidation here. I'm also going to talk about, you know, if we're at high risk of another drop as well during our technical analysis. But overall, I think that the market uh, over the last couple of weeks has definitely proved to have found some kind of bottom, uh, especially compared to the past where we're getting, you know, huge price moves uh, towards the downside and just constant uh, craziness across the board. And right now what we're seeing is, you know, we finally entered some type of bigger range. Um, and I think that we're going to continue with uh, some consolidation. But even if we do drop, we can kind of predict which levels that'll be uh, based on, you know, kind of the, the last support levels that we'll probably go to right in. When are we going to move higher? Uh, there's no way to know for sure, but I think that things are just taking their own time. And as per usual, it's always slower than we expect, right? Um, it's, it's very weird that we end up getting a huge market increase, you know, just in a week and then we're back to where we were before, right? That doesn't tend to happen. It takes uh, really months, could even take years sometimes to, to reach, you know, past levels so always important to keep that in mind now uh, don't forget to follow me on twitter for live cryptocurrency market updates one thing that i wanted to talk about is the fact that um, a lot of cryptos have actually seen uh, multi-year uh, volume lows so that tends to be somewhat of a big deal you know a lot of people pay uh, close attention to volume and typically lower volume is not a good sign i think that you know it's just part of the market process right now, but uh, something that is important to, to be aware of. Uh, similarly, cryptos are kind of remain uh, stagnant right now. And Ripple, of course, one that's been in the spotlight recently, uh, did end up getting a pretty big drop of 8% as its volume actually dropped 50% in a single week. So uh, once again, talking about the volume there, but this drop is pretty normal, I think, uh, as this comment kind of mentions after the run-up that we had, right? In fact, we could even drop a bit more for Ripple, but it's still a normal proportion uh, relative to the run-up that we had. So looking at Bitcoin here, it's pretty straightforward. We can see the Bollinger Bands contracting towards the price. Right now, we're sitting right above $6,519. And overall, I think that uh, we're going to see some type of uh, pretty tight trading range between $6,519 and $6,800. Maybe we'll go down to $6,400, uh, so I'll go ahead and put in that support level, but you get an idea of the range there, uh, basically a $400 range here for Bitcoin that we should be able to trade in uh, for, you know, probably a few weeks here, uh, at least two, three weeks, I think. Let's go ahead, take a look at Ethereum now, see what's going on. Ethereum is currently uh, also seeing the Bollinger Bands contract towards the price. We could see a little bit more movement based on where we're currently sitting um, on support, so $220. I don't really see us moving much lower from here uh, for the timing. So, I mean, it would be nice to get back above our uptrend line and then to start moving higher from there uh, as we try to reapproach $273. But for now, I would expect us to remain you know, pretty flat towards $220. Let's go ahead and take a look at Litecoin, see what's going on. So Litecoin is currently... Uh, at $57, its support level is at $53. Not looking too bad, you know, uh, probably going to trade somewhere around this level uh, for the time being. Might retest $53. Either way, wouldn't be too concerning. You know, our Bollinger Band, our lower Bollinger Band is actually above $53, which is actually a really good sign of support. And that will really help prevent it fall uh, too much lower. So the only negative thing right now is the indicator is looking pretty bearish, uh, starting to downtrend. But other than that, I think that, you know, we should be able to hold up relatively well. And then, you know, we'll see maybe once we get back above um, $60, hopefully start to push $70 again. But it's going to take a little bit of time here. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ripple, see what's going on. And then we're going to pass over to Nano and then Neo next. So taking a look at Ripple, uh, currently dropping next support levels at $0.41. Cents. I think we are going to test that level. We could even end up testing 36 cents, but I think that's about as low as we would go. And, you know, the reason for testing these two levels is to 
uh, test our breakout area, right? Because since we got this breakout at 36 cents, we never actually came back and tested that level. And same for 41 cents. So if we're a bit stronger, we're going to only go down to 41 cents or else could go down to 36 cents. Um, I think that it'd be good to go down to 36 cents just that way it would clear everything out. But, you know, it looks like we do have a very fair chance of just bouncing off that 41 cent support level as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at Nano. Um, Nano has just been doing its own thing right now. Definitely holding up relatively well, right? It didn't get any kind of huge crash or anything, which is good. So we're still um, above 30,000 Satoshis right now. Just very flat on the indicators and on the price. Um, I don't see that changing anytime soon, at least not for now. So I'd say, you know, until we get back above uh, 36,000 Satoshis, I wouldn't expect anything uh, in particular for Nano here. So 36,000 Satoshis, any move above that would be a bullet, very bullish signal. Let's go ahead and take a look at NEO and see what's going on. So moving over to the Bitrix chart here, we can see that uh, NEO is also showing signs of uh, some consolidation as the uh, range of the Bollinger Bands is very flat right now, pretty tight. Also have a range here on the price uh, between $16 and $20. So that's basically the bigger range that we'll be trading in for now. Probably just going to hang around $18. Uh, no real signs of change for the time being. Just very flat everywhere. Let's go ahead and take a look at Stellar Lumens next and see what's going on. So Stellar Lumens is, you know, managing to hold around its uh, de previous downtrend line right above that. So that's good. Uh, we definitely could end up moving below it and, you know, maybe ending up towards uh, the end of this triangle over here at 3,400 Stoshis or even the end of the symmetrical triangle at 3,000, um, three, 300 Satoshis. So either of those things uh, could happen if we end up dropping a bit lower. Hopefully we'll be able to stay above our, our downtrend line, maybe even get back above uh, 37, uh, sorry, 3,700 3, Satoshis. That would be the, the more bullish scenario there and then end up consolidating, you know, in this higher range between that and 4,000 Satoshis. Let's go ahead, take a look at our next cryptocurrency, which is going to be EOS. Uh, EOS, one of the altcoins that's also been holding up pretty decently here. So uh, basically, we did end up moving below our downtrend line, but we're getting really good support from our middle band over here. And we can see the Bollinger Bands closing in on the price, probably going to lead to some consolidation. We could end up moving out of this downtrend line over here, uh, just in a pretty flat manner, but I feel like there's a pretty fair chance that we end up reaching the end of this triangle over here near 8,000 Satoshis uh, before exiting the downtrend line. So that's definitely a possibility right now. Let's go ahead, take a look at LISC and see what's going on. So I'm going to go over to the Bitrix chart here and take a look at LISC. So right now uh, we're currently trading at $3.24. Very flat. Um, indicators pretty flat as well. So I expect that to continue. Um, yeah, I expect a very tight range here, to be honest, for, um, for this. So I'll go ahead and put in our support level, give you a better idea of what's happening. But basically, between $3 and $3.51 is where should we, we should, we'll probably be trading for at least two or three weeks here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Cardano and take a look at the Bitrix chart. So Cardano, actually not looking bad at all here. Got back above 1,254 Satoshis, which I like a lot. Also back above our middle band. Uh, the Bollinger Bands are contracting towards the price, which will um, kind of prevent it from moving from moving uh, much higher from now. So basically, probably going to trade, you know, a little bit above 1,254 Satoshis for the time being as the market, you know, is really trying to set up a, a base here and, and just consolidates. Let's go ahead and take a look at our last cryptocurrency of the day, the Crypto Update. Also a very flat altcoin can be seen with, the, you know, basically horizontal indicators and price right around this 56 cent area no signs of that changing for the time being uh, and i wouldn't expect anything different until we get back above 60 cents at least so with that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you next time